So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video I'll cover another amazing lab that is getting started with Redis and Redis search. So first of all click on start lab and open the console incognito window. Now here if it doesn't sign in automatically check the lab for username and password. Now here just click on I understand and then we'll move forward to the lab. So now from here we have to open the compute engine basically the virtual machine. So now from here you have to just click on the VM instances. Meanwhile you should also activate the cloud shell because we will be performing some steps on the cloud shell. So here we have to basically just initiate the SSH session. Now it will be become very lengthy if you do by opening one and one SSH. So I have created the command we will be using it on our cloud shell and only for one basically loading the data we will be using the compute engine SSH. So first of all wait for the cloud shell to become active. Now follow each steps very carefully as I said in the video. Now here what you need to do you have to just click on this SSH. Wait a minute. Here just view gcloud command copy it and just run it and hit enter. Now you have to click on Y. Basically type Y. And then hit enter. Now again hit enter. Now again hit enter. Now finally the cloud shell session is converted into VM instance. Now open new. Just open two more new cloud shell session. Now again paste over here. And similarly paste over here also. If it asks to continue like select Y and then hit enter. Like do you want to continue like we have done in the first one, I mean the first session then where you have to just click on Y and then just continue with the cloud shell. So now open a no, new notepad and just paste the content from here. Now here we have to update the username. So as you can see here we have to update the username. Now copy it and just go back to the first SSS session. Now hit enter. Now here basically what you need to do is that now we'll be exporting this. So run it. Finally it has been exported. Now we have to just start the docker session. So we have to just copy this and initiate the SSH session. So first you have to type exit or just simply close the tab. You can do two things. So if you type exit you, the session will be closed and now you can just reinitiate the session let me show you how you can again just wait a minute just click over here and just click on this and just run on cloud shell and hit enter so now here the setup is now ready now we may face one permission error i will show you how you can debug it so this no, we did not face here in here. So this for this task, we are not facing any error. For the next step, we will be facing one error. I will show you. No need to worry about it. So finally, the image has been downloaded. Now it will start running. You have to just click on this second cell session. And from here, just download the files. So just download these files. Now type Y and then hit enter. Now again go back to the lab instruction and hit check my progress for task 1. You will get the score without any issue. So for task number 2 what you need to do you have to just initiate it. So when you hit this you may get this permission error. So that was one I was talking about that this error we are getting. So what you need to do is if you are facing this error what you need to do you have to just initiate a new SSH directly from the vm just initiate it when you hit this you'll again get the error so what you can do the only thing is that you have to just initiate the ssh session like this and we will be running all the steps in this so just wait for the ssh to start now just run it now here it's loaded for 
so now again let's insert some data again second data third data and fourth data too so this is also done now here you have to just follow the way i'm doing in this video and here when we run this the increment one as you can see point one has been incremented so now we have to create indexes so just run it try to hit check my progress yes you got the score Now copy it, paste over here, again for this, scroll down and for task number 4, just run this, again this, so you have to just execute these only, just follow the way I am doing in this video and you will be able to get full score without any issue, now hit check my progress. So you can try to hit check my progress from here also. So now here we have to just let me show you update the indexes. So now from here what you need to do just insert it again run it. So now let's flush all the data and then just go back to the lab instruction and here on the second exercise session just paste it and for the VM instance SSH you have to run this. Just follow where I am running you need to understand it and then complete the lab. So just do it. So we are using two, three SSH session out of which two are on cloud shell and one is this because we were unable to add the data here so we are using the vm instance as such so if you have done the way i have done you will get the score without any issue now for this task just run over here again run it just follow the way so we have got 80 out of 100 now for this part you can see here are the advanced features so start from here make sure go step by step otherwise if you miss any step you won't be able to get the score meanwhile if you haven't subscribed to the channel subscribe it and like the video So finally we are done with the lab guys i hope you like the video do like it and subscribe to the channel and have a great day ahead